And welcome back. We have a couple guests on with the Hogue Orthopedic Institute. Actually, we have one person with the Hogue Orthopedic Institute, but the other one is uh, certainly works along with them with the Arthritis Foundation. I'd like to present uh, Dorisa Reed, CEO or of the Hogue Orthopedic Institute, and Celeste Bernius, who is the Development Director at the Arthritis Foundation. Nice to meet both of Very you. Very nice to be here. Yeah, I've heard about uh, Orthopedic Institute with Hogue before. We've had guests on, but uh, kind of give us a, a rundown of uh, the role that it plays within within Hogue in general. Well, Hogue Orthopedic Institute is uh, in the neighborhood. We're located in Irvine. And our mission is really to be committed to all orthopedic uh, care. And while uh, we have an inpatient hospital and, and two surgery centers, one in Orange and one in Newport Beach, we are very concerned and committed to organizations that help prevent uh, orthopedic problems and arthritis is one of the most mm -hmm. prevalent conditions uh, that we're committed to, to to improve the population's health uh, because while yeah. uh, we uh, don't want you to have to have surgery uh, if you need it we have it but we also want to do things that help prevent uh, people from having surgery yeah that's the that's the main goal and uh, you're rather unique in this community because of that right we're very unique uh, there are now that I think about it, very few hospitals nationwide that solely con concentrate on orthopedic mm -hmm. care. Uh, one of the uh, biggest ones uh, is in New York City and uh, Cleveland Clinic and now Ho Hogue Orthopedic Institute. And it, it's very innovative to have a surgery that, that is totally dedicated to specialized orthopedic care. And uh, in our short five year history, uh, we've become one of the top orthopedic hospitals in the nation. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Celeste, when we talk about arthritis and autoimmune disease mm -hmm. that is, um, can affect people in many different ways, it affects my wife and mm -hmm. my mother-in-law. It can present itself, uh, you can get RA or you can have um, uh, just uh, what they, you know, mild cases of it as well, something that just affects one's hands and all. But uh, being that it's an autoimmune disease, it's uh, sometimes uh, hard, hard to kind of treat and hard to kind of figure out, right? Yeah, well, you know, there are about 50 million people in the United States with arthritis, uh, doctor-diagnosed arthritis, because you right. might have folks who say, oh, my hands hurt, I think I might have a touch, and exactly. they don't have it diagnosed, or they're not sure, it's not mm -hmm. to that level yet. So 50 million people with doctor-diagnosed arthritis, um, two-thirds of those people are actually under the age of 65. Mm -hmm. So arthritis can affect anyone at any age. Um, there are about 300,000 children with arthritis, right, yeah. 30,000 in California alone, and 3,000 here in Orange County, right in our own backyard. Um, so we do a lot of work with a lot of the local hospitals, uh, um, and uh, with Chalk and Loba Linda and HOI um, to make sure that we can provide our free resources to their patients. So mm -hmm. a lot of the things that people do for preventative care, if there might be a history or there is a genetic proponent to it as well, Certainly. is uh, and especially for osteoarthritis, is to go ahead and take a calcium supplement to help protect your bones at an early start um, so they don't become brittle, break easy, and then and, you know having to do replacements for them mm -hmm. so that's one of the preventative ways and to keep moving even if it's that five-minute walk you right. want to build those joints and keep those muscles strong as far as uh, uh, some of the types of treatments that are of, of course uh, Teresa there are the medications prednisone mm -hmm. and things like that what other things that Ho can provide the your orthopedic Institute in the form of arthritis because it is something that, uh, at least at this time, it cannot be cured, uh, but it, basically what you want to do is maintain it, right? Yes, and it, one of the ways that, that we do this is through our collaboration with the Arthritis Foundation because they do provide community education and, and support groups. We have also on our own various uh, community education programs that teach people about osteoarthritis and prevention. Um, and then uh, we are always um, looking for ways uh, to educate people. Uh, and education on osteoarthritis and, and things of that nature uh, can't even start at very young ages. Um, 
one of the most prevalent things that, that people don't think about is uh, that our, our nation, we have a, a problem with rising obesity. Mm -hmm. And I always have to remind myself of this statistic when I want to motivate myself to lose an extra few pounds. Um, and it depends on the study that you read, but for every single pound that you're overweight, you're putting four, and some studies say up to six pounds of extra weight on your knees. Mm -hmm. And so um, that always motivates me to try to keep uh, active and keep my weight down, because the more weight you're carrying on your body, if you're overweight, you're wearing your knees out. Mm -hmm. And that tends uh, to create a, a weakness and opportunity for osteoarthritis. Um, interestingly, uh, on that subject, uh, many people who are suffering knee pain, once they become active and uh, lose some weight, sometimes the knee pain uh, goes away, mm -hmm. or at it's, least gets better. Right. And uh, so that, that's a, a couple examples of how we're working to improve arthritis. So Les, can people get what's called, uh, you know, or what people refer to, I uh, get a touch of arthritis, maybe uh, for some reason you, you twisted your knee or something like that. Is there such thing as that or is that kind of a, a myth? Well, you know, there's a few different ways to get arthritis. Mm -hmm. One is the genetic component. Right. Um, the other is an overuse of joints. So okay. it could be caused by an old injury from high school and you were on the track team or played baseball. You might have it in your shoulder, mm -hmm. knee, elbow. Um, and those things, if you're not keeping yourself active, can start to hurt you and it can, arthritis can form on those different joints. Okay. As far as, a, as I was just uh, talking about with Teresa here, what we have today, uh, yes, you, have, uh, you certainly have different kinds of therapies, but mm -hmm. the main thing is the medication part mm -hmm. of it, which some people, as we know, um, don't want to take a lot of it or take it as little as possible because of the fact you're combating an autoimmune disease it can also have the typical side effects of those types of medications, right? Yeah, definitely. And there are, there are a few other ways besides medication that could enhance your medication. Um, of course, you would have to speak with your doctor. Right. Um, but one of them is what you're putting into your body. What are you eating? Mm -hmm. um, we have some folks that we work with who will tell me, oh, I just started a vegan diet. I just started this. I just started that. So they're really looking at the different types of foods that cause inflammation within their joints. They're either avoiding those foods or adding something that will. And mm -hmm. we provide those, that information on our website. Um, so anyone can go and look and see what should I be eating? What shouldn't I be eating? Um, and kind of see what would work best for them. Uh, okay. So that's one of the one of the other different ways. Yeah. And coming up, you're having an arthritis walk, right? Yes. Tell me about that. We're very excited about that. So Celeste and I um, are collaborating on uh, the arthritis walk that's coming up on May 15th okay. at Angel Stadium. And uh, past walks have been over 5,000 people, mm -hmm. and we're excited. Uh, we're expecting over 7,000 people to wow. walk through Angel Stadium. That's right. Very nice. Yes, yeah, so the, everyone, it's a free event. Anyone can attend. Um, one of the very neat things about the event is Jerisa is our corporate chair for the event. So she's helping lead fundraising, get the word out, um, share what they do in partnership with us. Mm -hmm. And Hogue Orthopedic Institute is also our signature sponsor. So their, their team is easily going to be over a hundred different people that are Great. coming out to the walk. They get a walk actually onto the warning track inside the stadium. They get to be on the jumbotron. People love taking pictures. Um, there's a kid zone, so if people have kids or grandchildren, it's free, you can bring them. Um, they can great. get face painting, crazy hair, but uh, yeah. It's a family event. It, people are welcome. Uh, if people want to join a team, Hogue Orthopedic Institute has a team, or people are, are free to uh, join other teams. Or, Great. Have their own, yeah. Uh, but it's a family event and uh, actually quite fun. There's music and booths and a great time to get even more information about arthritis. There's many people who provide additional patient education materials. All right, and that again is May 15th. More information on that, go to orthopedichospital.com forward slash arthritis rock and you can get uh, all the information you need. Uh, basically on the Arthritis Foundation, what is your website? We are, you can just go to arthritis.org. Okay, so that's it's easy It's very now. easy. You'll find 
free resources, all the stuff that I had mentioned, barometric readings to see what your arthritis will feel that day, okay. um, all kinds of free information. Really great. And again, your Orthopedic Institute is uh, right here in Irvine, which we is are your neighbors. very, yeah, very convenient. Yes. You're, you're right around the corner. Fantastic. Uh, this is going to be a great event on May 15th. Uh, what a fun time. Uh, obviously, it's a great cause. But it's going to be, like you said, a whole family event mm -hmm. so people can go down there. And how many chances do you get to walk Absolutely. on the field, right, at Angel Stadium? Oh, that's so awesome. That's very special. Yeah. So again, that's orth orthopedichospital.com forward slash arthritis walk for that information. I'd like to thank both of you. Thank you, Kim. Thank on. you nice so to, much. Nice to meet both of very you. Very nice to meet you. And um, uh, Hogue Orthopedic Institute again right here in Irvine. They do great work. All right, we'll see you next time. Likewise. All right, Thank you take you. care, and we'll be right back.